I'm Dr. Angela Grunewald, Superintendent of Edmond Schools. On February 8th, you're going to have the opportunity to vote on our bond election. On this bond proposal, you're going to see classroom additions, improvements at all of our schools, and land purchases that will help us meet the needs of our growing district. Our enrollment is back up higher than it was before the pandemic. What is really interesting is the growth in housing east of I-35, where we built Redbud. Houses are coming in, new addition on the north and a new addition on the south of Redbud. So on this bond election is to actually complete phase two and phase three at the same time so that we can have Redbud completely built out by August of 23 to meet the needs of growth in that community. You'll also see on this the next phase is in Scissor Tail. Scissor Tail is expected to open in August of 22. And if you go out there and drive by Scissor Tail, you'll see apartments going up all around it. So on this bond election is the next phase so that we will be able to um, add additional rooms to Scissor Tail as that growth happens. We have four cafeteria remakes or remodels on this bond. And part of it is because as we've grown the buildings and we have more students in the buildings, the cafeterias are too small or outdated to meet those needs. So there's four cafeterias at North, Heartland, Summit, and Santa Fe that are going to be updated. The walls at Will Rogers is my favorite project. Will Rogers in four summers with the passage of this bond can get walls. And what it means is you won't be able to hear everything that's going on in the classroom next door and every teacher will be able to work their own lights and be able to work their own air and heat where now you may have four classrooms working off of one light switch in a different teacher's classroom. The transportation center on the east side of the district will really help us with efficiency and cost saving. We have 26 buses that run about 60 routes that are all east of I-35. Currently they start their routes at Kelly and drive all across Edmond and Edmond traffic before they even pick up their first student. And then after they drop them off, they have to drive all the way back. So this will allow the buses to start their routes there, be fueled and maintained, and everything from the east side of I-35 where their routes are. With improvements, one of the things that we try to do is keep our buildings looking nice and not to get run down. So that means carpet has to be replaced. So a lot of our buildings will get upgrades that just make them cleaner and nicer and more conducive for learning. This bond proposal has been carefully crafted to meet the needs of every school. If you look at the list, you will see something on there for every school. Also on this bond proposal, we have curriculum, technology, items for fine arts and band and athletics. So if you want to look at a full list of all the projects for more information, go to our website at edmondschools.net. I also want you to know with this bond proposal, there should be no increase to your taxes. We work very hard to keep that millage rate at that 24 to 25 level just to help you with your family planning. For the election, it's February 8th. The polls are open from 7 o'clock in the morning to 7 in the evening and you'll vote at your precinct. If you live in Edmond Schools District, you can vote on this bond proposal.